Hello, and welcome to Let's Look. Today, we're going to explore colors using objects from the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Let's warm up by naming all the colors we see in the rainbow. Our first artwork has all of the colors in the rainbow. See if you can find any colors that match the outfit that you're wearing. Do you see any matching colors? What other colors can you find? What else do you notice? This artist was inspired by the scientist, Sir Isaac Newton, who discovered that light is made up with the seven colors of the rainbow. Let's find these colors in the artwork. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Artists use a color wheel to help them sort their colors. Let's create our own color wheel. You can pause this video and search for something around the house that's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Welcome back. Let's arrange our objects in a circle just like this. Your colors can be different shapes as long as they are in this order. Our next artwork uses just a few colors, including three that are extra special. Other than white, what three colors did the artist use most? Red, yellow, and blue. Can you find a red square? How about blue and white shapes that are dancing down the middle? What else do you see? Fernand Leger used a simple color palette or range of colors to create their artwork. These colors are known as a special trio in painting. Do you know their name? Primary colors. By just using yellow, blue, and red, they can make the other colors in the rainbow, called our secondary colors. Let's make a little magic by mixing these colors together and see what happens. Yellow and red together create orange. Yellow and blue make green, red and blue, create purple. Let's look at an artwork that is filled with color. What colors do you notice? How is this artwork different than the previous one? Every single inch of this artwork is filled with color. Let's look for those primary colors. I spy some red, yellow, and blue. Now for those secondary colors. So many beautiful oranges and purples and greens too. Hugh Henry Breckenridge often was inspired by nature to make his artworks. Where do you think he painted this one? He was not only an artist, but a teacher too. He loved to hold his painting classes outside in nature. Colors in nature inspire many artists. Let's look at an artwork that is also in nature, but a very different part. What do you see? Where do you think this is? This is a desert in New Mexico, nearby Ghost Ranch, where the artist lived. How do you think it would feel to stand here on a very sunny day? Hot. Georgia O'Keeffe used the colors red, orange, and yellow to show the warmth of the desert. These three colors are called warm colors because they remind us of heat. Okay, so what is something else that is very, very hot and also has the colors red, yellow, and orange. Fire. 
This is a lamp that looks like a flame. When it's turned on, you can see all of those warm colors glowing. Let's find our red, orange, and yellow objects. Do these colors give you a warm and cozy feeling? Now, if fire and, and heat are warm colors, what do you think the opposite of warm colors would be? Cool colors. Now, doesn't this look refreshing? What colors do you see? The artist used greens and blues and purples to create this artwork. Let's find our blue, green, and purple objects. These are often cool, watery, icy, even wintry. If you could jump into this artwork, what would you do? Where would you go? Okay, friends, we've explored rainbows, primary colors and secondary colors, warm colors and cool colors. Now, our final artwork layers all of these together. Are you ready? Look at this explosion of color. What do you see? What does it remind you of? This reminds me of a party. I see bright, exciting colors, helping hands, oh, red hearts, and so many fun squiggles. Looking closely, you'll notice a lot of the color yellow. Colors that are on opposite side of the color wheel are called complements. What's on the opposite side of yellow? Well, let's look at our color wheel. It'll give us a clue. Purple is across from yellow, so that makes them complements. Can you find any purple that pops? It definitely adds energy to this party. The yellow seems to make the purple jump. Can you find any other complementary colors that burst? Let's look at our color wheel for some more clues. I spy oranges and blues too. Ed Hughes layered many complementary colors on top of one another. He asked friends to join him too. Just like complementary colors, lots of people work together to make this artwork whole. If you and a friend came together to create an artwork, what colors would you use? How would you complement one another? Thank you for joining me today as we explored colors at the Philadelphia Museum of Art.